Well, welcome back. We've learned a lot since our first Volvo Locker video, which we're scrapping. Indeed. It is not a Volvo Locker. Yes. It is a Volvo... Differential. Limited slip differential. LSD. It is an LSD. It is not a locker. Mm. We learned this because everyone in the world, or the internet world, mm. told us we were wrong. We were. And it's a learning experience for all of us as we go Fantastic. along. Fantastic. We were wrong. I've been wrong a lot. It happens. More than most people. To the best of us. Okay. All right, what we've learned from viewers like you is that this is an Eaton G80 limited slip differential, which is not a locker. It does not lock both wheels together. What it does is once one wheel slips, it throws power to the wheel with traction, which gets you out of the mud or snow or ice, whatever have you, which means it does not lock both front wheels together, which means it's great for on-road driving during snow. Yay! Indeed. Very enthused about this. I am. I'm from Pennsylvania. He's from Kansas. <laughs> so, don't you get snow? I, I do. We do. In fact, we get everything. Oh. Then again, everyone gets everything. He's from Kansas. Anyway, so, stuff like that is great. We love your input, and we want to hear more of it, or what you want to see us do. We love the kind of input. Everyone's providing, uh, making sure we're on track and filling in the loose ends. So anything you want to see us do or anything that you have that's factual that we're wrong about, please call us out on it. Please. We like that. In fact, we had to rename the three-part series because we call it the Volvo Locker. And it's not. Oh, well. Thanks. So we should also mention there's a couple things. Um, one, and this is just to the point, is that it's an option, not a guarantee. Um, there was someone on Cherokee Forum who mentioned that he found the 740 Turbo. It was four tens, and it was an open diff. Uh, it was not the locker. We're very sorry to hear this. Yes. Sad, because it's hard enough finding it sometimes in the first place. But true. But it is a good, a good point that sometimes you sh uh, strike gold every time. Um, it happens. Just like us, the past few weeks, n could never find one. Like I just, it was really hard. In fact, I had to go all the way to Kansas City to actually find one uh, while I was home for Christmas. Kansas City, Missouri. Move them on, hit them up. Move them on, hit them up. Cut them out. Ride them in. Cut them out. Ride them in, rawhide. Out now, round cow. Okay, well, now it's on. Damn it, you were recording the whole thing? <laughs> It's very Anchorman footage. Alright, so we're live right now. Yes. Alright, right, guys, so what we have here is a Volvo 740. Uh, not turbo, not GL, no, nothing else. Just a regular 740 manual with a tow package. As you can see here, this is, it has a tow package. This is what it's going to look like. You have that thing, you can see the whole thing, you know, regular receiver hitch. And then 740, as you can see here, nothing special. Um, so what that means is um, it's going to have. D, limited slip, locking differential, whatever you call it. Um, but it's going to be of a higher gear ratio or a lower gear. Um, so you can throw that in a Dan 30 as well, as long as you have a matching one in the front, 355 and down. Um, so you can rock it that way if you wanted to, if you're looking for that gear range, and there you go. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, what you have here is your Volvo limited slip in its true form in its natural habitat. Uh, this is indeed a Dana 30 that it is in right now. Obviously you have some accoutrements as a e-brake cable and there's your little track bar, all that crap. Um, but this is it. This is it inside the Volvo. Nothing done to it. It is in its true form. That's how it looks inside. Yes, indeed. Kansas City um, is not in Kansas. Just want to throw it out yeah. there. Blue well, line. It's like, I don't know why. There's like Kansas City, Missouri, it's Kansas City. Like the same thing. Kansas City. I don't care. Kansas. What else? Anyway. Um, neither here nor there, literally. Um, so yes, do note that you know we are going to get it every time, and sometimes you might find something you didn't think you would find it in, like the uh, manual 
um, with a tow package. Didn't know that was a thing. Or anything with tow package in general. I didn't know you could actually find it in that. So uh, the things you learn over time. Point to make. Manual will have three, five, five gears almost all the time. Yes. So if you've got a manual XJ and you have three, five, fives run 33s, boom, gotcha. There it is. Yep. So um, if it has a tow package, chances are you're going to have the the um, differential in it. And that's what you're going to want. Seeing the ball hitch out the end of it is a great indication that yes. you're going to find one. Which brings up another telltale sign of a limited slope differential inside of Volvo. We have the tag. The tag. The tag. Which the is not right here. My god, we've, we've lost the tag we found. The tag is found. This is directly imported from Kansas City, Missouri. Indeed, when I did find my 740 turbo manual tow package, um, just kidding, it wasn't a turbo, it was a regular 740. Uh, it had, for the first time ever, I've never seen this before, it had a tag that was on the diff. Yes, focus on that if you can see. Anti-spin equipped. Yeah. Yep. Use special oil. We don't know what that special oil is, but we do know it's equipped with anti-spin and French. So it came like that from Factor for sure. Um, so if you find that, then you definitely know you're in. Bob's your uncle. Yep, you've got it. You've got an LSD. Just pop the diff cover and have yourself a grand time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we have a slightly definitive answer to where you can get a Volvo limited slip differential. First, you must start off with the question, do I have a Volvo station wagon? Looks like that. If the answer is yes, then you're on the right track. Next, we narrow it down even further with the question, is it a 740 or 240? If it is, you're again ready to go. If not, look more. Sorry. All right, once you've got your 740 240, you must narrow it down to if it's auto or manual. If it's manual, again, is it a turbo or tow package? If it is, you may have a limited slip differential. If it's not, probably don't even want to bother looking. Now, we go up. If it's auto, is it a turbo tow package? If it is, fantastic. And with that, you could have four tens or higher gear ratio, a very desirable differential. Yay. If not, back to the drawing board. If this doesn't answer your questions, I don't know what will, and I can certainly not provide it. Can you, Doctor? Uh, negative. First off, sir, cannot. This is this is what we've got. That's as good as it gets, folks. There's going to be one more video that we're going to make, uh, and this one is going to be actually it in the field being used. Um, something you know maybe some people like to see so uh, we'll make one more when we go on a trip soon of it actually in action and what it looks like when it's being used on the rocks primarily and probably mud I mean it happens and so you have so that to look forward to yep. and two different Jeeps yes white one and black one polar opposites mm-hmm I call that good kill film